You guys know I'm always on Instagram scrolling. And I saw this beautiful crisscross corset blouse and I said to draft a pattern and show you guys how to make yours as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to draft a crisscross corset pattern. Okay, let me not bite my mouth. Let's go. So I'm starting with my pattern paper on a fold. So that's my bust point, my nipple point, my under bust point, and the length of this blouse is 21 inches. So the length of my pattern paper is 21 inches. So from the blouse, you see it has like it has an overlap, sort of like a bottom placket. So from the middle, I'm marking one inch for that. Okay. I'm marking one inch for that. So after connecting my markings together, it is time to start the main corset marking. You guys know that when we are marking our standard corset from the middle, we always take you know 0 0.5 for that distance between the boobs. Okay, so I took half an inch from that one inch mark. Okay, and I connected my markings with a straight line. Hmm? I connected my markings with a straight line. So now we have like two lines, the one inch mark and the 0 0.5 inch mark. So that one inch mark, which is for a uh, button, I'm just going to fold it so that we don't get confused. So we just have like what we normally have when we are drafting a pattern, a corset pattern. Okay. So I folded in the one inch, um, uh, allowance for the button. So from the middle, okay, I'm going to mark, uh, my shoulder point and my shoulder point is 8.5 inches. And then I connected the markings together. Okay, now I my camera caught me short. So from the middle there, that place where the arrow is, I extended my tape backwards and I marked four inches for my dart. Okay, you guys know that the standard dart measurement is four inches. So I marked four inches at the top and at the bottom, and I connected my markings with a straight line. Okay, so at that dart point, I extended my tape by one inch. Okay, this is to create my cup curve i extended my tape by one inch and i just as well connected it to the dart line and i that at that point i made sure that the width of that one inch point is it's you know it's around it's around one inch in width okay so that we can have a cup curve okay i hope i'm not confusing you if i'm confusing you just look at what i'm doing so at my under bust point i'm marked half an inch on both sides at the hem as well i marked half an inch on both sides and i connected my under bust point to the hem with a straight line now the next thing i went ahead to do was i connected my nipple point to my under bust point with a slanted line or a triangular line like what we see here on this channel <laughs> see guys if at any point my explanation is confusing you just look at what i'm doing okay okay now at that point i took one cm on both sides and i'm trying not i'm trying i am creating my bustier here you guys know that a corset is just a bustier that you have your cup accentuated okay so i've created my bustier here okay now from the center i went ahead to mark my my bust measurement and the distance you know that place we are going to cut off in the bust here i just added it back to the pattern okay now from the middle okay i also took my waist measurement and you guys know we are going to cut that part out so we need to add it back to the pattern so i also added it back to my waist measurement so that everything will look nice and precise i also took my that's my under bust measurement the one i just measured my under bust measurement now i'm on my waist point so i also marked my waist measurement same thing i did for the bust and under bust i did it for my waist okay and after doing that i just used my ruler and connected my markings together okay now from my bust point this uh, my bust measurement i went in by 1.5 inch okay i went in by 1.5 inch and from that 1.5 inch point i just connected my cup curve okay very simple easy peasy okay now for this side i just connected my nip my under bust point to my nipple point okay you can see that we have a corset cup here very simple very easy very straightforward okay now i also went ahead to connect the top part of my cup you guys see that where i do you guys see why i said you should make that um, one inch width you know to be a little large so that you can have a very beautiful cup at the top okay a, a very beautiful curve at the top if i bite my tongue okay now for my shoulder point i went in okay by three inches 
I went in by three inches and I drew a straight line. Not really, not so much, just a small straight line. Now, also for my shoulder point, I went down by half an inch and now I want to create my shoulder slant. Okay. I want to create my shoulder slant. The next thing I went ahead to do was I went, I went ahead to insert my armhole curve. Okay. I inserted my armhole curve. After inserting my armhole curve, look at what we have here. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we have an armhole curve here. If you look at that dress, you will see that the, the, the armhole, that armhole area is not so wide. So you can work with 1.5 inch, but for me, I marked with, I worked with 2.5 inches. Okay, in the sewing tutorial, you see why I did that, but you can work with 1.5 inch. And I just connected it to that to the top okay so this is what we have here guys now at the sides i went ahead to add one inch sewing allowance you guys now always like to work with one inch sewing allowance for all my patterns and i did this for the bust point the under bust point and my waist and this is what we have here guys i've connected my markings together so with your tracing wheel because this pattern is on a fold, you are going to trace every single thing on this side, on the other side. And you are always going to use your ruler to highlight all the imprints that the tracing wheel has created. So now I have everything on my left hand side. I'll be on my right hand side is on my left hand side. Okay. Because this pattern is about to get real. Mm? <laughs> okay. So. You can see i've traced everything on the other side of the pattern to the other side of the pattern you can see the one inch um button allowance and also the 0 0.5 inch mark for the corset so i spread it out very well and i went ahead to use my marker to highlight the um, the pattern so you guys see what i'm doing very very well you don't get confused okay now from the middle that's that's my 0 0.5 inch you know that place from the middle you can see that place i marked 2.5 inches okay then from that place where my neck width stopped i just marked half an inch if you don't understand what i'm doing just look at because you don't understand what i'm saying just look at what i'm doing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect that place to the 2.5 inch mark and the under bust to the half an inch mark okay hmm? to create that crisscross effect we have on the corset okay if you see, you know that the crisscross effect, the crisscross effect, if I bite my tongue, it has its own neckline. So that 2.5 inch we went inside with is to create the neck width. Then of course, you know that it is sort of, you know, rested on the, on the, on the shoulders a little bit. So that's why on the shoulder point, I went in by half an inch. You can see what we have here. So I just traced, you know, sort of to give it the crisscross effect. This is what we have here, guys so after tracing guys you're going to take another paper you're going to put it under the pattern okay after shading out the shape you want not tracing after shading out the shape you want you're going to take your pattern paper you're going to put it under the main pattern and you're going to use a tracing wheel i use the tracing wheel to trace out the shape okay i use the tracing wheel to trace out the shape through my under balls just through the whole you know outline i made the crisscross outline i made and this is what we have here guys you can see i've gone ahead to highlight it with my marker so you see it you know very well so now i've cut it out now it's time to spread see you don't have to make as much spreads you can you can do three okay make sure you number them you don't have to make as i just went overboard with the spreading but you understand so you want to make two piece two pieces so that when you are sewing this one will be sort of a guide to help you know the shape it is meant to take okay now after you know creating line patterns i went ahead to cut it open and on a fresh pattern paper you're just going to draw a slanted line okay and for the first piece which i numbered number one remember i told you you need to number it i went ahead to use my water gum mm? i used my water gum and i placed it on the slanted line and i just gummed it okay i just gummed it on the pattern paper <laughs> excuse me guys i have a cough i'll be a cold which one just choose one so at the top and um, with the distance at the top is going to be half an inch the distance at the bottom is going to the distance at the top is going to be one cm the distance between the strips at the bottom is going to be half an inch okay 
the distance at the top is going to be one cm the distance between the strips at the bottom is going to be half an inch okay so i did this for all the strips that i cut so you can see how the numbering of the strips helped me to you know for it to come out well and to know which is the next to place i just went ahead to connect you know i want to connect all my strips together so we have a a perfect line even though it's not straight it's curvy but we have a perfect line okay so i went ahead to carve out the, the to draw the line to connect all my pieces together and after doing that i cut it out so this is the working piece we have for the crisscross on the corset you guys know that we are going to fold it back into shape now all those places i highlighted with my marker are the places that i'm going to take out of the pattern now because this pattern is in two pieces, you can work with any piece you want me i'm going to work with the blue side because it's entering my eyes so you keep one part okay don't discard it you keep one part you still need it so for this part i'm just going to go ahead to cut out all the places in red lines and this is what we have here guys this is the front pattern okay you can see that all those places in red lines that i ticked with red lines i marked with red lines we don't need them so i cut them out so this is the other side You're just going to use it to compare you can see okay but we need just one part okay so you guys know that with a pattern you need one pattern you cut in a fold and this is a crisscross um side of the pattern you guys know that by the time you fold it it's going to become this shape again okay so this is why you need to cut two pieces you can see how we are going to let me just show you a quick you know where you are going to place it after folding that other one you know this is how it's going to look on your pattern isn't it beautiful okay after folding this one mm, this is how you're going to it's going to take the shape of this other one that i placed there and it looks that's why i said you need to cut two okay now to the back pattern mm, to the back pattern this is my back pattern it is not on a fold okay so the length of this pattern of course is 21 inches so that's my bust point that's my standard that point at nine inches for the back and that is my under bust point okay so from the top i'm going to take half an inch and half an inch is just like it is a joining allowance for the back to give the back a shape okay it's a joining allowance for the back to give the back shape mm? so after marking half an inch i connected my markings together then from that point i extended my tape and i marked before i extend my tape i want to know what the width that's the width of my neckline is meant to be so you can see how i folded my pattern and i took the distance between those two places okay you can see where i pointed i took the distance and i got 5.5 inches okay so the width of my neckline for the back is going to be 5.5 inches you see why i say you shouldn't discard the other pattern so i'm going to take my neck depth at one inch so i took my neck depth at one inch and i connected my markings together see guys i'm talking both in present tense and past tense forgive me i don't know why i'm always making this mistake so from that point i extended my tape backwards and i marked my shoulder point at eight and a half inches because my shoulder is 17 inches and i just connected it together okay so after doing this from my shoulder point i went down by half an inch and i drew my shoulder slant okay i drew my shoulder slant so this is what we have here guys so for the back the next thing i went ahead to do was i went ahead to put my dart placement so from that point i from my that point okay for my that line mm, i went in by four inches i marked four inches from the from the middle okay and i connected my markings together the middle i'm talking about is that line or not be, um before the line okay after the line i marked four inches for my dart and the next thing i'm going to do now is i want this back to have a princess that okay so i'm just going to use my paper my pencil and trace it that way okay and i used my french curve and i carved it in you can see that this is princess that simplified okay you guys know that this is the back part so we need to take out some inches but before then i marked my bust measurement so after marking my bust measurement i went ahead to insert my arm hook curve okay so from that point at my under bust point i marked one cm on both sides okay 
also for the hem i marked one cm for those sides because we want to shape this princess that so that it will relax well on the back okay so i connected my under bust point to the hem of this pattern paper you guys know that we marked one cm on both sides okay so this is what we have here connecting my under bust point to my hem now for my standard that line okay which is um, nine inches point i just connected it down to my under bust point with a slanted line it is you guys it is looking like bustier but no it's not a bustier because you guys see that the width of the dart is not so much so at the armhole point i also went down by one cm and i just drew another princess dart line okay now because our bust point is already short that one cm i went down by i just added it back to my bust measurement so that this pattern will be balanced okay it's not the one with that draft pattern finish it is not balanced mm -hmm. so after doing that i've marked my bust measurement i went ahead to mark my under bust measurement and at the I, I of course you guys know we're going to cut that part out so we need to add it back to the pattern so that everything is correct okay so i added it back to the pattern and i also marked my waist measurement and I took the distance between those two points that we're going to cut out and I added it back to the pattern. Okay, so after doing this, I connected my bust to my under bust and to my waist. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm out of breath. If you're enjoying this video, okay, you are enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. So after connecting, I also went ahead to add one inch sewing allowance, okay, to this pattern. Huh? I added one inch sewing allowance to this pattern and this is what we have here guys. The back is so simple. Easy, breezy, peasy, easy. Whatever that means. <laughs> okay, I also went ahead to tag the back center center se mm -hmm, I bought my tongue. Center back and side back, okay? So this is what we have here for the back. Now you guys know that the 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 sides of this corset is a little curvy, okay? So from the bottom I went up by 1.5 inch and i'm just going to draw the curve okay to give me that curvy effect at the side of this by the at the side of this corset okay if you look at the picture very well you see that the sides of the corset is curvy it is not straight okay so to give it that tapered bascule look Mm -hmm, whatever i want to call it and i also did this for the front part because then i was drafting the front pattern I forgot to do this so for the the side pattern for the front okay is this center side uh -huh. um, front side that is uh -huh. any one you tag it okay for the the side of the pattern I went for the front part I also went ahead to do same thing I went up by 1.5 inch and I just connected it to that point to give me the rounded curvy tapered look and I cut it off. Hmm? I cut it off, and this is what the front side, I be the yeah, looks like. And I also did same for the back pattern. The places in red are the places I'm going to cut off. Okay. So after cutting those places in red off, this is what we have here for the back pattern. Is it not beautiful? Is it not lovely? If you're watching from Facebook, make sure to give this video a like. Also follow my page. If you're watching from YouTube make sure to give this video a thumbs up okay so this is what the back pattern looks like it is giving guys <laughs> it is giving so this is what the front pattern and the back pattern looks like i'm in love and this is what the you see our crisscross extension that is it over there okay so you guys know that we are going to put when you are sewing you're going to attach the crisscross um, um <laughs> before i bat my tongue the crisscross extension to the corset cup okay you're going to attach it and this is what we have here guys thank you so much for watching okay don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys